Hello Bass family and welcome to Everything Bass. So this video, the Farnan drill, comes directly from a, a 60 cycle hum. Now if you're new to the channel, the 60 cycle hum is bass feedback. It's a chance for you to actually say, hey, I've been working on this, this is a problem, can you do a video about this? And I had a great um, message through our Facebook uh, group where uh, a player was saying, hey, when I play, like I'll fret a note, and then as soon as I use another finger on my fretting hand, my fingers go way high. And, you know, basically we're saying, I know that's not good, what can I do to fix that? And that's common. I, mean, I you know, when I first started playing, I, I remember doing that, playing with my middle finger, all of a sudden my index finger was way off the fingerboard. And uh, I remember watching a great guitarist in our my hometown, Galen Gilbert, and when he played, he was a guitar player, but when he played, his fingertips barely, barely left the strings. But I didn't seem to be able to get that get to that point. Um, so what was great is uh, when I studied at Musicians Institute, one of the first lessons I got was taught by the BIT, Bass Institute Technology Director, Paul Farnan. He was the director at the time and one of my biggest influences. Um, I owe him a debt I could never repay. But he had this exercise and he didn't really have a name for it, but and I don't know if he created it, but since this is my channel and I can do what I want, I'm going to basically call it the Farnan Drill, out of respect for what, such a great educator and a great bass player. So what is the Farnan Drill? Um, before I even show you, I want to make sure you understand, this is not a way to play. This is not a way to perform necessarily. This is a drill that will help you overcome that like urge to like raise your fingers that aren't being you know used and wasting all that energy, wasting that time, slowing you down, making you a sloppier bass player. So the Farnan drill is simply based on something that you've seen me use uh, in previous exercises where you're going to play basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now if you have a 5 string, 6 string, 7 string, just go all the way across and all the way back. Here's where the Farnan drill aspect comes in. And it's tough. You're not going to raise a finger until you need to move it. Which means when you play, you're going to go index, middle, ring, pinky. Leave all those down. Now this is the tricky part. You, when you go to the next string to play first fret, leave these three fingers down and just move that finger. So you play the B flat, move to the middle finger, ring finger, pinky. See how I'm only moving the fingers as I need to. Now, to, to descend, it would no, make no sense to do this because you're lifting the fingers and it's not really part of the exercise. So I would say descending, go one, two, three, four. Like that. <laughs> Let me see. I got confused. It... So you're only moving a finger as you need to. This is counterintuitive. This was rough when I first started doing it. But within one week, I believe, uh, I, I had cha changed any urge I had to like lift my fingers high off the fingerboard. This is an exercise that I just don't, I really don't want you to think of metronome, drum machine, any keeping any kind of time because you're really retraining. Uh, if this is a, a problem for you, raising your fingers high, you're going to retrain your whole system. Uh, and why add timing to that? Timing has no effect. Um, so take your time. So like you may want to play index, middle, ring, this slow. Now hold it for a second and consciously think, okay, just move the index finger. And hold that for a second. Just move the middle, ring, pinky. Then. It's a great exercise. Now, let's say you're brand new to the instrument, you just start checking out videos to, to learn how to play, and you don't have your stretch down where it's very uncomfortable to play down this low on the fingerboard. No problem, just move it up. Most players, well, I should say it, most of my students usually like to, to start around the 10th fret. So index finger on 10th, 11th, 12th is the ring finger, pinky is the 13th fret. And do the same exercise here. Only move the finger as it needs to. What a great stretch. Um, so obviously the question comes, how long do I practice this? How often do I practice this? Um, I got some good news. First of all, uh, three minutes of no stopping, just kind of playing, playing slowly, that's a good amount of time for an exercise like this. You don't have to do it for 30 minutes. 
Um, in fact, what I did um, when I was learning this, of course, realizing context, I was learning this amongst a lot of other stuff because I had seven hours of classes every day. I, at night, we had band practices and things like that. So I had a lot of stuff to work on. And so I would just input it multiple times during my practice time. So I might warm up with the Farnan drill, go and do some sight reading. And then in between sight reading and let's say scale studies, I would do the Farnan drill. In between scale studies and walking bass lines, I would do the Farnan drill. So by doing this in little increments here and there, uh, I progress fast and I notice a difference in a week. Now your results may vary, but don't give up on it. Uh, especially if you've been annoyed because you see photos of you playing or you look down and your fingers are all splayed out like this. That's just a waste of, of energy and it just makes you less efficient a player. Um, so anyway, that's the Farnan drill and I hope you, uh, you know, give it a chance. Uh, did I describe it well enough? Now, I couldn't really find a way to cleanly like write a lesson sheet for this. So if you're a Patreon supporter, there's, there's no lesson sheet for this video. It's really just one, two, three, four, all the way up, all the way back and only move a finger when it needs to move. Hold the other fingers until they have to move, okay? I hope this makes sense. I hope it gets you where you wanna be. Uh, like I said, looking back on my education, it was absolutely one of the, one of the key, uh, keystone lessons that actually got me past some of the barriers I had, made me a better, more efficient player, made my tone better, all the things from just a simple Farnan drill. All right, guys, how's it working for you? Give it a shot, try it out. Put your comments below, like, hey, I gave it a shot, I'm running into this issue, or whatever. Or, hey, maybe no issues, maybe I give a shot, it's working great, you know, whatever. Just uh, post comments, because I think your comments, well, I know, your comments of like encouragement, of things that you struggle with but then got over, helps other people years down the line who might view this video and have some tr struggles, and they read through the comments go, oh, okay, great, that's to be expected. So I'd really kind of love that group support that group um, knowledge base that can be shared with every video I post. To that end also, it would mean so much if you could subscribe. At the time of recording, we're just getting closer. We're inching up to that thousand subscriber mark and it would just open a lot of doors for me and help me grow the channel. So if you're watching the video and you haven't subscribed, please, it would just mean so much to me if you take a moment, go down, push on the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I uh, post videos. Uh, I post videos every weekend, um, usually three to four. Uh, but sometimes more depending on what content I'm creating. All right, guys, thank you so much. Uh, hit a like if you enjoyed this video. If it's something you hadn't thought of and it's, you feel it's going to help you, I'd love to get that support of seeing that thumbs up icon. And other than that, I'll see you at the next video. Take care, guys.